Welcome to Altar Live. Your church or community has chosen to use Altar Live, so your online attendees will feel just as connected as if being in person. Altar Live is a video conference platform where your church will host online church services, live stream events, and even small groups. And the best part is that you will actually be able to talk, see, and interact with others. And together, you can create an online environment that makes everyone from first time visitors to regular attendees feel welcome, seen, and known. We're gonna give you a quick tutorial on how to use all of our key features so that you are confident and comfortable. There are two ways that you're gonna experience gatherings on Altar Live, events and meetings. To join an event or meeting on Altar Live, all you have to do is click on the link provided by your church with your preferred device and a good internet connection. All your services will have the same link, so it'll be easy to find. On your laptop, tablet, or iPad, Altar is browser-based. That means there's no downloads required. For the best experience, however, we do recommend using the Chrome browser. On your smartphone, though, you'll be able to join Altar on your mobile browser. If you want to participate in a video conference or chat during an event, it will ask you to download the Altar app from the Google Play Store or the Apple App Store. Now that you've joined the event or meeting, there are so many fun things you can do to interact with other people, just like you would in person. Anyone can join an event and watch your live stream service or event. But to be able to use some of the more interactive features, such as video conferencing and chat, you'll be asked to first create an account. This is simply to provide a level of security. Creating an account is easy. Click the login button and then Either continue with your Google login or your Facebook account to make things a little easier. If you'd rather use your email address, enter that and enter a few more details like your name, your email address, and a password that you'd like to use. You can also select an image for your avatar. You'll receive an email with an account confirmation. Simply click that link and you're good to go. From there, you'll be able to log in anytime you join us. And if you forget your password, don't worry. Input your email address into the field at the bottom and we'll send you a magic link to log in. After you log in, you'll see a number of things going on around you. The event or live stream window, the rows of people with letters or pictures representing where they're sitting, your chat pane, which has a few icons you'll need to know, the chat area, a list of the members online, any announcements that have been made, a list of any polls that have been published, and the general welcome area. Once your event is going, you'll be able to engage with everyone around you in a number of different ways. The easiest way is to use the chat. In Alter Live's chat, you'll be able to type and react using text, emojis, and reactions, which is sure to help you get to know your community just a little bit more. Sometimes you'll see an announcement pop up on the screen, in the chat area, or in the lower right corner of the screen. These announcements may have links or buttons that you can click on in them as well, usually for giving times or sign up forms or other websites. Other times, a question will pop up for you in the form of a poll. Select and submit your answer and watch as the rest of your community really begins to understand each other just a little bit more. Now, one of the biggest things that makes Alter Live the powerful platform that it is involves the rows right under your live stream. By clicking on a seat in a row, you are starting a watch party with the people around you. You have the ability to turn on your webcam and your microphone to chat with people, but also to see them. This really helps with that sense of community and being with other people that are in the event right alongside of you. Once you click on a seat, you'll be able to mute your microphone, turn on or off your camera, and leave the row. But once you're live, talk normally. This is a great place for conversation or for reacting to the event and environment. After your event ends, your host or event leader will have the ability to move you into the lobby. The lobby is set up just like you would see in a cafe or physical gathering space. Tables with seats all around them. 
chat and announcements will appear in the chat window, just like in events, and you can interact with them the same way. But now you'll see two different tabs at the top of your screen, tables and rooms. Tables are just like what you would find in a physical church lobby. Seats where people can gather, catch up, pray, meet, and generally just be together. This is a great place to meet your pastor or members of your church staff. It's also a great place to pray with others. To sit at a table, simply select where you want to go. Your camera and microphone will turn on just like in events and rows. Tables will sometimes be named. As long as there's an open seat, you can sit there. Simply click the seat and watch as you join the table. You're then able to converse face to face with your microphone and camera on. Sometimes you will have a group that is larger than the four people that are gathering at a table and you'll need to move to a room. By clicking on the rooms tab at the top, you'll be able to see all of the open rooms. All you'll need to do is click the join button and you'll join the room. Much like other teleconferencing platforms, you'll be able to use your camera, microphone, and chat areas, along with announcements, polls, emojis, reactions, and private chats. You can hit the mute button to turn off your microphone, and you're free to turn off your camera by hitting the camera icon. You'll also be able to switch your screen view from speaker view to tile view based on your own comfortability and you'll be able to virtually raise your hand to answer questions. To leave the room, simply hit the red hang up button and you'll move back to the list of rooms from before. Meetings work just like rooms, so you're gonna be very familiar with them. Simply click the link that is given to you and head straight into the meeting. From there, you'll have the same interaction capabilities that you do in rooms. Pretty great, right? And that's all there is to it. Church is about so much more than just a live stream. That's why your church is growing beyond four walls with online tools into your community and beyond. We can't wait for you to experience a different kind of connection online with Alter Live. Thanks for watching.